Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and in this video, I'll be showing you the best features of the OnePlus 9R. By the way, I've already posted a dedicated video for the tips and tricks section where I've talked about many things which I won't be covering in this video. So definitely check out that video as well. Link will be in the description. Now with that said, the most highlighting feature about this phone would definitely be its performance. This phone sports a Snapdragon 870 processor with a Adreno 650 GPU with up to 12GB of RAM and 256GB of US 3.1 storage. These are the benchmark scores. Purely in terms of performance, this is definitely one of the best phones that you can get in this price segment. Whether it's for gaming or for regular usage, it can definitely last you for a very long time. Next best thing about this phone would be its display. This phone sports a 6.55 inch fluid AMOLED display with Full HD Plus resolution and 120Hz screen refresh rate. It's also protected by a Corning Gorilla Glass. This is definitely one of the best looking displays in this price segment. Next best thing about this phone are definitely its charging speeds. This phone comes with a decently large 4500mAh battery and inside the box we get a 65W WAP charger. You can get up to 75% of charge in just 30 minutes. That's definitely incredible charging speeds. This is personally my favorite thing about this phone. Next, this phone also has a pretty fast in-display fingerprint scanner. And just like previous OnePlus phones, its performance is super fast and unlocks the phone in less than a second. Here's a quick preview. Next, we also have the famous face unlock feature on this phone. In good lighting conditions, it is pretty fast. It unlocks the phone in less than a second. Even in low lighting conditions, it works pretty fast. It unlocks the phone within a second. Most of the time, it works without any issues, but sometimes it might hiccup a little. In complete darkness, it works, but it is mostly a hit or a miss. You just need to bring your face closer to your phone for it to work better. Next, this phone also packs in some great cameras. On the rear, it has a quad camera setup with a 48 megapixel primary camera with Sony IMX586 sensor with optical image stabilization. For selfies, you get a 16 megapixel camera with f2.4 aperture with Sony IMX471 sensor with electronic image stabilization. These are some sample shots. Next, this phone also has a pretty impressive wide angle camera. It is a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with f2.2 aperture with Sony IMX481 sensor with 123 degree field of view. These are some sample shots. Next, we also have a dedicated super macro mode, which allows us to take macro shots at close proximities. And these are some sample shots. Next, we have 4K time lapse. As the name suggests, this feature allows us to record time-lapse videos in 4K resolution, which is definitely a brand new thing. Next, we have a dedicated 48 MP mode on this phone. Even though this phone has a 48 megapixel camera, by default, it takes pictures in 12 megapixel resolution. For some reason, if you want to take a bigger 48 megapixel picture, you can try this mode. Next, we have super stable mode. Even though this phone offers stabilization by default when you record video, but for some reason if you want further stabilization, you can try out this super stable mode. Here's a quick preview. Going on next, on this phone we can also record video with all the three different camera modes. That's the primary camera, wide angle camera, and even with digital zoom. We can easily switch between all these camera modes and the transition is also pretty good. Going on next, we can also record video in 4K resolution at 30fps and 60fps using the rear camera. Next, we have the regular portrait mode for both the front and rear cameras, but specifically for the rear camera, we can also take portrait shots in the normal cropped mode or the wide angle mode. These are some sample shots.
Next we have Nightscape. Now this is a dedicated night mode in the default camera application that allows you to take better pictures even in low lighting conditions. These are some sample pictures. Next, this phone also supports slow motion video recording. We can record video at 1080p resolution at 240fps and at 720p resolution at 480fps. At least as of now, there is no support for 960fps. Next, we have a brand new customizations page in the settings panel where you can customize your complete phone all from one place. We have canvas, that's a lock screen wallpaper feature. Next, we can also change wallpapers, horizon colors, fingerprint animations, accent colors, and so on. This is a place you should definitely check out to customize your phone. Next, we have nearby charging stations. This feature helps you to find the nearest OnePlus charging stations, whether if it's in an airport, shopping malls, or a OnePlus event. Going on next, we can also use the power button to trigger Google Assistant. Once you enable this feature, you can just press and hold the power button to trigger Google Assistant. You can also press and hold the volume up and power button to trigger the power options. Next, we also have some new navigation gestures. Now back to the new gestures. Once you enable them, you can swipe from the bottom of the screen to go home, swipe and hold for recent tabs, and you can swipe from the left side or right side to go back a step. And you can quickly switch between the current application and the previous applications by swiping left or right on the bottom of the screen. We can also trigger Google Assistant by swiping diagonally from the bottom left or bottom right corner. Next we have Live Captions. You can enable it or disable it directly using volume buttons. And once you enable this feature, it gives you live captions while watching videos or while playing something on your phone. Going on next, we have a new hidden space feature on this phone which allows us to hide applications. We can also password protect them. We can easily hide and unhide those applications directly from the home screen or the app launcher. By the way, these applications are just hidden in the default launcher. If you install any third party launcher, say like Nova Launcher, they are still visible. Going on next, we can also change the display refresh rate on this phone. This phone has a display with 120Hz refresh rate. From this setting, you can go back to the regular 60Hz refresh rate. Personally, I'd suggest you to keep it at the maximum refresh rate. Next, we got a new feature called Parking Location as part of OnePlus Shelf. This feature allows you to save the location of your park vehicle. You can take a temporary picture as a landmark which will automatically get deleted later or else you can just use the GPS location. Next, we have Portrait Mode for video recording. And just like the name suggests, we can record video with a background blur effect. Next, we have a dedicated night mode, even for recording videos. So if you want to record videos in low lighting conditions, you can try this mode. Next, we have Vision Comfort, which is just a new name for the regular night mode, which puts a warm tint on the screen to filter blue light. And you can also schedule it to automatically turn on and turn off at a specific time. Next, we have a new feature called Work-Life Balance. It's an automation feature that will allow you to restrict notifications from applications Based on time and location, you have two modes, work mode and life mode, and you can choose applications part of work mode and life mode. And when you're in a particular mode, you'll only get notifications from those applications. Let's say you're in the work mode, then you'll get notifications only from those work applications. Next, we have quick reply in landscape. Once you enable this feature, it will allow you to quickly reply to messages with a floating keyboard while playing games or watching videos in landscape orientation. Next, we have a new feature called Lockdown. Once you enable this feature, you can access it from the power menu. And once you trigger it, it disables biometrics like face unlock and fingerprint scanner. So next time you want to use your phone, you have to use your password. It just adds a little more security to your phone. Next, we have a new clock style called Insight, which gives you real-time information of your usage pattern, like number of times you have unlocked your phone or how long you have used your phone in every session. It's a cool feature to track your usage. Next, we have some screen off gestures. First one would be double tap to wake. 
Now once you enable this feature, as the name suggests, you can just double tap the screen to wake it up. If you're already using face unlock feature on this phone, you can just double tap the screen to wake it up. Then your front camera will see your face and then it will immediately unlock the phone. Overall, it gives you a very immersive experience. Next, we have music controls. Now, once you enable this feature, you can draw less than or greater than symbols when the screen is off to play the previous or next songs and then draw two parallel lines to play or pause music. Next, you can draw an O to open the camera application. You can draw a V to toggle the torch. We can also assign new screen off gestures for different characters like S, M, W and so on. Going on next, this one also has dual stereo speakers powered by Dolby Atmos. Next we have Zen mode. You can access it from the notification toggles and once you enable this feature, it will literally not allow you to do anything for the next 20 minutes. Even if you restart your phone in those 20 minutes, it still takes you to the Zen mode. If you want to meditate for some time or put your phone down for some time, just give this a try. Next we have a screen recorder built into the phone. Whether you want to just record your screen for a random purpose or for a tutorial or if you want to record your game, then you can do all that from your phone with a built-in feature. You can access it from the toggles. You can also change the resolution, bitrate. You can even change the audio source and set video orientation. Next, we have the famous alert slider. Just like on all the previous OnePlus phones, even on this phone, we still get the alert slider. We have three modes, silent, vibration and ring. You can further configure each mode from settings. Using this alert slider, you can change to different modes without even looking at your phone. This is a very unique feature that's available only on the OnePlus phones. Next, we can also hide this punch hole on this phone. Just enable this toggle and it puts a black tint on the background and it pretty much hides that punch hole design. Well, now the phone looks pretty weird, but if you really want it, you can still do it on this phone. Next, we can also change the horizon light colors. So every time you get a notification, your phone lights up and from these settings, you can change the color of this light. Next, we have digital well-being. Now this is a feature from Google which simply tracks all your usage on your phone and gives you a complete analysis of which applications you are using a lot or which applications receive the most notifications. Now using this feature you can also limit your usage which is pretty great. Next we have wind down. Now this is also from Google and it's part of digital well-being and it allows you to sleep faster at night. You can basically schedule it to automatically turn on the grayscale mode and do not disturb mode at a specific time and basically hint you to go to bed. Next we have flip to mute. Now once you enable this feature, you can just flip your phone to mute an incoming call. Next we have three finger screenshot. Now before I show you how to use that, let me show you how to take a screenshot on this phone. Just press the volume down and power button both at the same time and your phone will take a screenshot. For some reason, if that's a bit difficult for you, you also have this three finger screenshot gesture. Once you enable it, you can just swipe down using three fingers to take a screenshot. This is definitely my favorite way to take a screenshot. Next we have long screenshot. Let's say you want to take a long screenshot of this web page. Then this is what you need to do. First, take a regular screenshot. You can either use the buttons or the three finger screenshot gesture. Once you do that, you'll see a preview. And now click on the button that says expanded screenshot. Once you do that, your phone will automatically scroll through the page. And at the end, it will give you a long screenshot. Next, we have some quick launch shortcuts for the fingerprint scanner. Once you enable this feature in the lock screen, you can touch and hold the fingerprint scanner. Even after the phone unlocks, just keep holding it and you will see some quick shortcuts. Now you can swipe your finger left or right to switch between these applications and release the finger to open that particular application. You can also swipe down to close the application. Now from these settings, you can save your quick shortcuts. Next we have fingerprint animations. Now right out of the box, this is the default animation that we get whenever we use the fingerprint. Besides that, we have a total of three animations, Cosmos, Wave and Stripes. And you can use the one based on your preference. By the way guys, fingerprint scan on this one is super fast. So most of the time, you won't even see the animation completely. Next, we have gaming mode. Now this feature gives you tons of options. Like it gives you the option to answer calls via speaker, block all banner notifications and all the notifications in general, disable auto brightness. It can even boost the network for a lag-free experience. It also has some advanced features like game display enhancement and haptic feedback enhancement. Next we have parallel apps. Now this feature allows you to use two instances of the same application. 
Let's say if you want to use two Facebook accounts, two Instagram accounts or two WhatsApp accounts on the same phone, then this feature will allow you to do that. Next we have reading mode. Now reading mode on this phone is pretty unique. Once you enable this feature, your phone will automatically adjust the screen color temperature and make the display much more comfortable to read. You can either turn it on manually or schedule it to automatically turn on for a few specific applications, say like Amazon Kindle or Google's Playbooks. It can also block peak notifications or heads up notifications, which can be quite annoying, especially while reading. Next we have ambient display. Even though this phone comes with an AMOLED display, OnePlus is still not offering us always on display. Instead, OnePlus offers ambient display, which simply lights up the screen every time you get a notification. It will just display your time, date and notification icons. From these settings, you can also change the clock style and even display a custom message. You can configure the ambient display to show up every time you pick up your phone or whenever you touch the display or whenever you get a notification. Next we have some launcher based gestures. If you are using the stock launcher from OnePlus, you have some cool gestures and you can tweak them from the launcher settings. On your home screen, you can do a swipe down gesture to pull down the notification bar. You can double tap in an empty area to put the phone to sleep. And finally, you can do a swipe up gesture to open the app drawer. Next, we can also switch audio output device on this phone. It's a very unique feature on an Android phone and personally, I love it. Let's say a Bluetooth headset is connected to your phone and you're watching a video. Now, if you want to hear the audio from the speakers instead of disconnecting the Bluetooth, you can change the audio output device by using the volume buttons. Next, we have pocket mode. Once you enable this feature, your phone will prevent all accidental touches when your phone is in your pocket. Next, we have app locker built into the phone. If you have any applications that hold sensitive information like net banking applications or payment based apps like Paytm, Google Pay or Phone Pay, you can lock all those applications using this feature. It's a nice feature but has very limited options. If you're an advanced user, I'll suggest you to use a third party application. Next we have schedule on and off. Now this feature allows you to automatically turn on your phone and even turn it off at a specific time on a specific day. You can configure all that from these settings. Next we have OnePlus Switch. Now this feature or an application will allow you to move all your information from your previous phone to your brand new OnePlus phone. You can transfer all your contacts, messages, photos, videos and audio files and if it's an Android phone, you can even transfer your applications. Using this application, you can also create a backup copy of all your data. So guys, these are all the best features. If I missed out on anything important, do let me know by commenting below this video. If you're planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description. It always helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.